Well, good morning, church. It's uh, time for a Friday video, uh, the way to connect to you and, and just let you know what's happening at the church, the kind of things that we're thinking about, the things that are up and coming in the life of our body. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that these are exciting days at Christ Community Bible Church, and the reason for that is because Christ is building his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. You may or may not have heard this Sunday, we are beginning the first of a five-week mission series where all I want to do is just walk through uh, great passages on missions and the Great Commission and, and uh, stoke our hearts and flame our hearts with missionary zeal. You know, I'm persuaded, you know, that, that the way to grow in authentic lasting, durable passion for missions is to see great realities from the pages of scripture, which inflame the furnace of our souls with missionary zeal. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Because if you think about it, the, the stakes are, are just so high, right? And, and the, the name of the series is called Impossible and Invincible. And because that's what the Great Commission is. It is both impossible and invincible at the same time. It's impossible for us because all we are are just people. We're just branches. All we are are dispensable, disposable, replaceable cogs in this massive machine called the Great Commission. That, that's what we are. And yet it is invincible for the one who is the Lord of the church, the builder of the church, namely Jesus Christ himself. So impossible and invincible. And this Sunday, we begin with John chapter 17, with that, with that staggering prayer where moments before Christ is arrested, he prays to the Father. And what he reveals about the, the plan of salvation is that all of history is this captivating collaboration by the Trinity to, to save people from every nation, to, to bring them to his son so that these people see Christ for the supremely valuable treasure that he is. That's the plan of salvation. That's what Christ reveals in his prayer. And what I love about it is that what, what Christ reveals also is that in eternity past, there was a transaction, there was a conversation that happened between the Father and the Son. And what happened was, is that the Father, out of love for his own Son, that he, he chose a people, he handpicked a people from every nation, and he gave them to his son for whom the son would die and purchase with his blood. This is, this is incredible. And all our life is, all the mission of our church is, is to find those people that the father has chosen and given to the son by indiscriminately preaching the gospel to everyone. And you just need to know we are just such an a, anywhere is a privilege to live, but we are just so privileged to live here in the DFW area with 8 million people and, and, you know, millions of them literally from across the world. We have the fourth largest Muslim population in, in the United States. We have a large percentage of, of Vietnamese. We, um, we have a, a large percentage of, of, uh, uh, people from India and, and other groups, other nations from around the world. The nations are here in the DFW. And so we literally have the nations at our fingertips. And so the question, the challenge for us then is, will, be, will we be enslaved to fear or will we be gripped by the certainty of God's global cause given to the church? Right, because that's what John 17 tells us, that the Great Commission is certain, that the fulfillment of the God's global plan is guaranteed, and that the most sure thing in the world is the fact that this gospel shall be preached in all the nations as a testimony, and then the end will come, Matthew 24, 14. That is certain. That's what's guaranteed. And what gives us that certainty and guarantee is John 17 and the grand drama of salvation unfolding in history. So again, the challenge is, the challenge is, who do you know right now that needs the gospel? Who is it in your neighborhood? Who is it in your workplace? Who is it that, that in your sphere, sovereignly ordained by God with whom you cross paths, that even if you're not able to be in church, even if you're not quite ready to come back to us yet, and I hope you come back soon to us, but even if you're not ready yet, you can still be on the mission. You can still embark on the Great Commission wherever you are, because we must not fixate on a virus that we cannot control 
but we must fixate our lives on a gospel that must be proclaimed and alone can save hell-deserving sinners. So that's where we're going. I'm, I'm really excited about this. The next five weeks, this is the kind of stuff we're going to talk about, and I really hope that this will re-engage us, reignite re uh, passion in the furnace of our souls for God's global cause given to the church. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, as I uh, told you last week, um, you know, I, I know that the technology has not been great. It sounds like we found a few better solutions to make things a little more tolerable. Uh, thing like uh, go using Zoom and and uh, we got a couple things that we're figuring out. However, I just want you to know, as promised, we uh, have uh, been purchasing this week um, really great. Uh, hardware technology that we can do better stuff online um, uh, on YouTube and Facebook and Zoom. We want the highest possible quality that we can find. So all of that is in the works. Again, that doesn't replace church. I mean, that it, it's still two dimensional. Um, you know, this is this is a temporary fix. This is a band aid until we can all gather together in person. But for now, we are glad to. To do this and so be on the lookout for that we'll keep you posted as uh, as things develop there with technology uh, also uh, just wanted you to know uh, remind you that um, yes we will be meeting in person um, and we will be um, both for uh, the life of Christ class and the service the life of Christ class begins at nine o'clock and the service of course begins at 10 30 again that's both live in person and online uh, via Zoom and Facebook. The last thing I wanted to say is that I wanted to prepare you for what's happening for the fall. Uh, again, we do equipping classes all year round, and this fall we've got three really exciting classes that I'm, I'm really, really stoked about. I'm really excited about what we're going to offer. Number one, uh, we are going to offer uh, a, a Genesis class. Uh, we've offered this before, but uh, the class isn't finished yet. Tommy Thomason is teaching that class, and he's actually going to teach on Genesis chapter 6 through 17. So he ended at chapter 5 uh, the last time he taught the class, so he's going to pick up where he left off, chapter 6 through 17. That means uh, the flood, the global flood, all the way through uh, key moments in the life of Abraham, especially the Abrahamic covenant. Genesis is just so foundational to understanding the world, to understanding the Bible, uh, you'd be crazy if you didn't take this class. Um, maybe not crazy, but you should totally take it. So that's the first one. The second class is that we will be offering uh, Fundamentals of the Faith again. And again, this is a, a Basics of Doctrine um, class. So if you feel like you're just sort of getting acquainted with the Bible, if you want to understand, re-understand the basics, this is a perfect class uh, for you to take. Uh, the third class is uh, a young marrieds class. Um, uh, I think I'm going to call it something along the lines of, um, you know, the, the parable of marriage or, or, or something like that. But it, it'll be a class uh, on marriage specifically for those who are newly married or um, even if you're about to get married, this is a, a class for you. So we'll walk through the scriptures. What does it mean uh, to be married? And all those classes uh, are on Sunday morning. However, one other class that we're offering in the fall is Biblical Greek. Um, Biblical Greek, I'm really excited to be able to, to offer this. If you want to read and, and understand and study and meditate on the Bible in the original uh, Greek language of the New Testament, and, and I hope you would want that, We'll be offering that on Tuesday nights at 6.30, uh, and it'll go till 8 uh, p.m., and it'll be, uh, uh, it's a tough class, it'll be very difficult, but it'll be so worth it in the end. All those classes begin in September, okay? So you've got a month to think about which one you want to do, and those will all launch in September. Okay, so lots of things going on. There's a couple other things I, I'll let you know as we go, but uh, church, we are uh, praying for you. The elders love you. We are grateful for you. And we are trusting the Lord with you as we uh, face daily uncertain, strange, unpredictable, hostile times. And this is, it's always been this way. It's never been any different than this. And so we, uh, we trust the Lord for that and we're praying for you as well. Okay, so church again, we love you and we will see you on Sunday morning.